Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is August 28, 2021. We will cover heavily shorted stocks and how to benefit. So with that, last week was a great stock for the folks who bought uh, short squeeze stocks. We'll, today we'll talk about headline news, 100 heavily shorted stocks, how to spot good stocks, and also review a few charts. So with that, let's jump in, get started. From a top news perspective, we had a monster short squeeze in support.com last week. Stock has done very well. And we had a uh, you know, lot of favorite Mimi stocks here. We got AMC, GameStop, BBBY, and so on and so forth. And we had a great run in the Winko Ventures, Big Big. This uh, company more than doubled in a week's time. I think uh, it's a great story. And we have this META, uh, M-E-T-A. They announced uh, some scientists to join the board. I think that's a good news for META. And we have PubMatic. Looks like it's one of the smartest stocks to buy right now, according to Motley Fool. And we've got Blink Charging. They install EV charging points across Michigan. We have ICPT, Intercept Pharma. It stocks falls as Goldman cuts uh, uh, to sell. And we have 11 biotech stocks popular on Reddit, like BNTX, OCGN, AVXL, and so on and so forth. And Clovis Oncology, CLVS, they announced some reimbursement for their uh, uh, tablet here. That's a good story. That can really help this company. So with that, what we'll do is we'll look at heavily shorted stocks and try to spot some good stocks to buy so we can benefit from this uh, short squeeze phenomenon. With that, let's jump in here. Uh, here are uh, top heavily shorted stocks. Top of the list we got here, Winko Ventures, uh, $5.03 or $0.30. Uh, low market cap, as you can see here. Uh, this can be easily manipulated because it's just $347 million market cap. And its uh, short float is 51% is the highest here. And then you got Meta. Meta, $4 stock, 43% short. I think market cap is pretty okay. It's uh, $1.1 billion. And then you got support.com, monster rally last week. Uh, we got 41% uh, shorts. Um, and we got Workhorse, Pubmatic, Blink, and so on and so forth. One thing, one thing I noticed as I went through this uh, chart here, we have a lot of electric vehicle stocks in, the, in this list here. It's good to look at a few of these electric vehicle play and see if it's worth buying at these levels. And then you got also more here. We got Ride, Tattoo Chef, ICPT, and so on and so forth. We'll look at some of these numbers and see what makes sense to buy next week and make some money. So with that, uh, let's look at the chart here. Top of the list we got here, B Big Winko Ventures, $5.30 stock here. As you scan through here, I've provided the market cap, insider transactions. One thing we always look for is really look for positive uh, insider transactions, you know, especially more than 10%, and also positive institution transactions. So with Bay Big, Winco, I think we had a great institutional transactions. Institutions are buying this company. That's why it cost a monster short squeeze. In one day, stock went up by 80%. It's unbelievable. So that's why, you know, many of the short squeezers made uh, big time money with Winco Ventures here. So, you know, I'm, I'm not selling all of it. I'm, I've been selling in stages so that way we kind of see how this uh, short squeeze uh, plays out. So that way we can still, uh, you know, have some money on the table and take the profit uh, that we made, some of the cost basis out so that way we play uh, the money that we earned. So that's be big. At this point, I think it's not worth buying. If you already have, you can slowly, you know, uh, sell and uh, realize the benefit or profit. Um, so as you can see here right now, stock has gone up so much, probably it's not worth buying at this level. Um, and one thing to notice, you know, I also have here 
the the fundamentals like how much is the sales how much is the sales growth what's the gross margin very important to look at this because when a company is good from a fundamentals you can buy the stock without too much without worrying too much in case of winco here they got negative sales growth but i think they do have okay gross margin and we have to look at debt to equity ratio to see if the company is uh, you know too much in debt for example here we got a smile direct these guys are too much into debt they're trying to see how to get out of debt here let's just scan through here we got heron um a little, little more into debt not as bad as uh, smile direct one thing to know this is one thing to notice uh, some companies try to over leverage on their balance sheet taking too much debt so typically we like to shy away when possible and go from there <clears throat> rsi is relative strength index it tells you is it a good time to buy when the rsi is high above 55 i would not uh, venture too much into buying them <clears throat> as an example here we got uh, support.com right now rsi is 89 you know, I would shy away from buying support here. If you already have, you can slowly sell them and realize the benefit. But uh, don't jump in and buy when the RSI is high and the stock had a monster run, as you can see here. On the other hand, when the RSI is low, then you can buy. Here, there are some things I noted here. For example, Intercept Pharma, RSI is 33, one of the lowest here. And also we got uh, one more here, ATER, low RSI. You know, those are the ones you can look at. Company stocks have been uh, not doing great off late. You could look at some of those names. Uh, then we got RS, you know, we, then we got IV percentile. You know, many folks I know, they are doing options trading. That's the reason I put in IV percentile here. That tells you how much is, what's the implied volatility percentile or IV percentile. You know, when the IV or implied volatility percentile is high, you could do some option selling strategies like selling put options, selling strangles and whatnot. But when the implied volatility percentile is low, for example, here you got Blink here, 3, Nicola, 8. Um, and as you see here, any, anywhere it's below, say, 50, then you can do some option buying strategies. For example, for stock like Blink, you could buy long-term call option. Same story with Nikola. Uh, or you could, you know, when the stock price is low, you could buy the stock outright. You know, that's always, always good. Sometimes with the call options, you lose time value. So you got to be careful. Unless stock is uh, showing some monster, monster upside, you are better off with the low dollar stock to buy stock outright. Um, so that's why we got IV percentile here to help out anybody who is uh, into um, options trading. Then we got here institution ownership. Uh, it's good to have good institutional ownership um, uh, percentage, especially say about above say 50 or so. Then you got short float. It, this is very important to notice. The higher the short float, the greater the squeeze. So that's why I sorted this by high short float at the top. And then you got price to sales ratio, which is the valuation ratio. Whenever it's higher, for example, 100 plus, you got to be a little careful here. Valuation is too high. And then you got one day all the way to five year performance here. This is past performance. It tells you how the company has done. And you will also know whether, the, whether it's good to buy now or should we wait if the company stock has gone up so drastically, for example, be big and support.com, you are better off wait for a little pullback. But if the company has already pulled back pretty hard, for example, Pubmatic here, as by looking at this, you know, company has been pulling, uh, stock has been pulling back pretty hard. You could buy some of those and take advantage of high short float here. Um, and then you got his last column here. It tells you how much the stock is off from 52 week high. So here we got uh, 44%, 59%. That tells you stock is still nowhere near 52 week high. So with that, let's jump in here. I've highlighted a few stocks for you here. First is Workhorse. 
Uh, I love workhorse, it's into EV, that electric vehicle play here, $9.59, $1.1 billion stock. Right now, insiders and institutions are selling slowly, um, and it's got a good sales growth here. It's off of a low basis, $3 million. So I would not take the sales growth too seriously at these levels, and gross margin is negative. Um, and as you scan through here, RSI is 41, tells you stock is oversold. And institutions own pretty good chunk here, 40%. High valuation, stock has been showing some positive um, performance in one day, one week, and two week. So I would slowly buy into this workhorse here, uh, given stock is low price, and RSI is 41, tells the stock is oversold. There is some good, I mean, okay fundamentals from a sales growth perspective, and stock is off 78%. I think this is one stock where, you know, in, you know insiders or even some of these big companies can slowly start acquiring. Uh, before you know it, you, you will see uh, some insider transactions and institution transactions. That's why I think it's worth looking at worth ho workhorse and buying slowly. Then you got here Pubmatic, you know, same story here. Um, insiders are selling, institutions are not buying at this time. Um, but if you look at what stock is, has been doing, absolutely nothing. I mean, it's been uh, going down all along. There is some positiveness in last one week. So that's why I see this stock maybe turning is, is signaling a turnaround here. So I would be slowly buying Pubmatic and uh, you know, build a nice position here. And you've got Blink Charging, BLNK. Um, here, uh, there's a positiveness here that, you know, we've got institutions buying here. So I would buy along with the institutions here um, and uh, hold a nice position here. Stock is trying to turn around in one day and one week. Um, so with that, uh, I think we got a couple more here. We got Nicola, ICPT, Root, HRTX, OCGN. You know, keep paying attention to uh, institutions here. Institutions are buying Nikola. They understand stock has been down so much of late. So that's why they're accumulating here. And uh, as you can see here, stock is showing some strength here in one week, two week, and one day. It's not too much performance. This is when we can buy slowly. Still RSI is low 42. We can slowly acquire and build a nice position. Nikola also surprises, especially with the high short ratio. And then we got here a couple more. You can look at these stocks here, Go EV, Ride, uh, Tattoo Chef, all have got high institution uh, buying here. But some of them have gone up already, as you can see here. So this is where you use your caution. Uh, don't buy the stock when it's gone up so much in last one week, two week. Instead, focus on bigger place where there is still room to run. As an example, we got ICPT, Root, HRTX, OCGN. So some of these where we have high institutions buying, as you can see here, and stocks have not gone up so much. So you could buy some of these. Look, look at the RSI, you know, look, focus on low RSI candidates where stock has not, not done great in the um, last couple of days. So I would, I would go with these names here, ICPT, Root, HRTX, um, and even Oxygen for that matter, and uh, buy slowly. Um, then we got here a couple more. We got uh, Clovis Oncology, Romeo, SoFi, App Harvest. So similar methodology here. Um, many of these, as you can see here, institutions are buying those stocks. So that's why, you know, volume will go up slowly. And uh, RSI is low, as you can see here. And uh, stocks have been not uh, doing great. So that's why, you know, these have got legs. They might rebound as you go forward. So with that, let's look at next chart here. We got a couple more here. Um, CG, GEO, um, LCD, and so on and so forth. As you scan through this list here, look at stocks like uh, GPRE, CG. Uh, institutions are buying, as you can see here. 
you got geo uh, you know institutions are buying insiders are buying that's a good one here rsi is 49 tells you still oversold so when this happens you know both institutions buying insiders buying stock is uh, kind of you know uh, away from its 52 week high and it's it's got a low rsi with a high short ratio and that's the recipe for for um, uh, performance increase or a short squeeze. So then we got here a couple more. Even Fisker up here, it's okay. As you can see, a low RSI. You could even buy some Fisker at these levels and expect a short squeeze. It's also showing some uh, performance gain in one day and one week. And we got here LCID Lucid. Um, I think it came through a SPAC um, uh, play. I think this is a good one. I think we should slowly start acquiring this. Company has not done well. This is supposed to be a Tesla killer. The stock has done nothing. I would be a buyer of the Lucid at this level. Slowly acquire and uh, build a nice position. Get ready for a short squeeze. And then we got a couple more here. We got uh, Woozy, a $12 stock. As you can see here, in institutions are buying the stock here. Um, you know, RSI is still 39, still low. And we got skills. Skills is, has been uh, going down. Uh, now it's trying to show some strength here. RSI is 31, tells you skills is still uh, oversold. I would buy skills and R RCON. RCON, as you can see here, institutions are buying a lot. So, and RSI is low, 38. So I would buy along with these institutions here. And last but not least, we got here uh, Innovio, $8 stock, um, and RSI is uh, just 52. I would look at this too. And as you see here, we got a couple more here, Bit, uh, BTCM. It's a Chinese Bitcoin mining play. Institutions are buying this stock here. Uh, stock has gone up so much. That's why I did not highlight because uh, we should uh, wait for a little pullback in BTCM and then buy. Uh, let's go to the next chart here. We got a couple more. Um, as you can see here, I've highlighted XELA and Fastly. XELA, as you can see here, institutions are buying low dollar stock, $2.42. And it's gone up in, in like one day and one week, but still more room to run. It's 69% uh, off from 52 week high. That's why I think, uh, you know, this XCLA has got some more room to run. You could uh, buy slowly, build a nice position. And then you got here Fastly. Fastly after going down for a long time, now it's showing some turnaround as you can see here. I would buy some Fastly at these levels. Looks like insiders are buying Fastly. That's a good sign. And as you see here, RSI is still low, 45%. This is one of those companies fundamentally sound. It's got a nice one-year sales growth, quarter over quarter sales growth, great software gross margin. So that's why I'm not too much worried. I'll be acquiring fastly and hold a nice position here. And then we got a couple more here. We got uh, ATOS, REI. Same story here. If you look at uh, ATOS, we got institutions buying a lot and REI, both insiders as well as institutions buying. That's why I think you know, it's good to buy along with these guys, coupled with a low RSI, especially REI, very low RSI. So I would uh, buy slowly along with these in insiders and institutions and take it from there. Um, and as you look through here, we got a couple more VLDR, again, a electric vehicle play here. $6 stock, I've seen this stock jumping up um, you know, to greater extent. And we got Hylian, uh, Hylian, sorry. It's again electric vehicle play. So I would, uh, I would look at these two because institutions are buying these the, the stocks and RSI is pretty low and they've not done great off late. It's showing some strength now. So that's why I would buy VLDR and Hylian. Um, and then you got GoTo. GoTo, uh, if, you know, it's a bounce back story so you got to be careful here two dollar 39 cent stock this stock was a high flyer earlier so right now as you can see here um stock is trying to see where to go um i would you know i would be cautious if you want to slowly play 
you could buy some with a high short squeeze go to can go up so that's why you can build a small position here at these levels because stock is very low dollar with a high short ratio and then you got a couple more here fubo um, spnv quant quantum scape ziop and sun power ftft you could look at all these names here many of these na names have got here nice institution um, um, buying here uh, including ftft which is completely sold off so i would look at these names here and uh, accumulate and hold a nice position given their high um, uh, short float here they can cause some short squeeze you know stocks like fubo and uh, ftft they got some good sales growth also so that's why fundamentally okay type companies so with that we got uh, one more page here um, as you can see here we got a couple more here we got uh, vxrt nls real real uh, one of my favorite at these levels we got pbts lemonade as you look through these names here look for institution transactions positive for example vxrt even dynamax for that matter stock has gone up so much i would not buy at these levels and uh, look through here we got the real real institutions are buying pbts big time buying in institutions you could look at these names here coupled with the lower rsi you know below 55 um, and look for you know okay type gross margin that's your recipe to buy these short squeeze names um, with that you know we got uh, one more page here um, as you can see here, we got, I have highlighted a few stocks for you. For example, Sunrun, BNGO, uh, PROG, uh, 75 cent stock, very low price as you can see here. Insiders buying, institutions buying, that's a good sign here. So with that, look at these names here. I also look for institutions buying, insiders buying, and also low RSI. Coupled with the fundamentally okay companies at times, you know, when you can get it, you know, look for these fundamentally sound companies with nice uh, sales growth and buy those names and accumulate. So with that, uh, now let's uh, look at few charts chart here and see how to spot some of these uh, names. You could, uh, you know, you could do it along with me or you could look at these uh, at your own leisure and see if it makes sense to you. First, we got uh, Workhorse here. Workhorse, as you all know, it's electric vehicle play, a technology company designs, manufactures, builds, and sells electric ba uh, electric vehicles um, uh, and uh, aircraft. So with Workhorse, as you see here, uh, this used to be a high flyer a while ago, but off late, it's in a tight trading range, as you can see here. Stock is below its 200-day uh, moving average, 100-day, 50 day and 25 day moving average that tells you you know stock is in the in the bearish territory but the good news is the distance between these uh, moving averages are reducing and the stock is trying to take on its 25 day moving average so that tells you there is a positive growth here even though stock is in a bearish territory there is improvement stock is trying to go up that's also evidenced by on the balance volume typically when the on the balance volume is low like this that that means there's nothing much going on nobody buying the stock right now as you can see here smart money is really accumulating the stock at these levels so that's why you know when the stock is in the trading range there's a high accumulation or on the balance volume that tells you we should also buy along with these uh, folks smart money and accumulate because the stock has got a high short ratio as folks accumulate more and more stock here um, stock has to go up and cause a short squeeze and then as you look through the workhorse here um, institutions are and in, inside are selling uh, as you can see here but looks like uh, retail investors and uh, some of these folks are buying it that's why volume is high high short float 38 percent and shock stock is showing some signs of progress in one week two week still way off from a 52 week high 78 percent off so that's why i would uh, buy into workhorse build a nice position here 
and then you got Pubmatic. Pubmatic is a, a cloud infrastructure platform that enables real-time programmatic advertisement. I think uh, digital ad advertising is a great space. I think this company is trying to take on the big um, leaders. So with that, this stock is also below all the moving averages. Slowly, it's trying to uh, you know go into 25-day moving average. Not there yet, but I could see this going up. And here on the balance volume is pretty steady. Um, that's why I think it's okay to buy into Pubmatic slowly um, and wait for a nice uh, short squeeze. With Pubmatic here, um, as you see here, inside as the selling that's causing some pressure. Um, but stock is trying to some, show some progress in one week. It's up 1% and uh, low RSI 40%. That's why I would uh, buy some Pubmatic at these levels and hold it for a while. And then you got Blink here. Blink is uh, into electric vehicle charging, as you know. Um, and Blink, uh, $31 stock. Insiders are buying Blink. That's a positive sign. Stock is in a trading range. Look at this on the balance volume. It's uh, going up nicely. That's why I think Blink is a good play here. I would buy along with the institutions here and hold a nice position. You know, with the high short ratio, 34%. This can go up nicely. And then you got SoFi. SoFi is a fintech play here. They do lending, financial services, and so on and so forth. Stock has been an absolute uh, crash or downer of late. So I would uh, buy some stock here. Even though right now it's ugly, stock is going down. And also on the balance volume is a little bit lower side. So when this happens, typically if the company is good, I would slowly build a position here so that way we can get ahead of the curve and hold a nice position. You know, this company is fundamentally a good company, even though you don't see a sales growth here. I think this company is a sound company and they're doing well in the fintech area. Next, we'll look at uh, one more chart here. I'll start with Nicola here. Nicola is an electric vehicle play. As you can see here, they're into development, integration of energy transportation solutions. Um, and as you see here, stock has been doing nothing. Um, it's going down off late. But positive news is uh, it's trying to show some progress here. After the earnings, it's trying to show some positive progress here. Slowly, it will you know, use 25-day moving average as a support and trying to bounce off of it. And as you can see here on the balance volume, it's showing some positiveness here. The stock is going up slowly. On the balance volume, is going up slowly. Coupled with the high short ratio, 30, 32%, I think that's a good uh, one here. And also, insiders are buying Nikola. So that's why I would buy Nikola here at these levels, very low dollar stock, and accumulate a nice position. And then you got ICPT here. Um, it's a biotech play here, a pharmaceutical company focusing on commercialization of uh, um, non-viral liver diseases. Stock has been doing nothing. It's going down all along. Looks like uh, there is a downgrade from Goldman Sachs here. Um, you know, I think uh, right now stock is showing some signs of progress here. You know, when the stock goes down like this, this is when if the stock is good, um, you should buy along with the insiders here. Insiders are insiders are buying their own, their own company here. They realize stock price is so low. There is a good value that shows the conviction from insiders. I would buy along with these insiders here, um, and it's also high short ratio, still showing some signs of bounce back in the shorter term. Then we got HRTX, um, Heron Therapeutics. These guys are into um, developing um, treatments for unmet needs, biotech company. Um, as you can see here, institutions are buying Huron. Stock has been uh, do going down. Now it's trying to turn around and go up. So I, I think we should buy along with these uh, institutions here and take it from there. Uh, then we got Oxygen. Oxygen is into, uh, again, biopharmaceutical company developing gene therapies to cure blind blindness disease. I think you know this stock has been doing you know, in the trading range for a long time. 
look at the on the balance volume even though stock is kind of you know in the um, consolidation range on the balance volume is pretty steady that's why I think insiders are buying here as you see here institutions are buying this oxygen stock here out by along with these institutions here with the high short ratio this is typically a favorite mimi stocks you know keep going up and down as you can see here so if you hold a nice position you can expect a short squeeze in here next we have one more chart here starting with clovis oncology clvs um, it's into um, anti-cancer uh, developing anti-cancer agents it's an oncology play here stock is uh, down as you can see here now it's trying to make its way higher same story here uh, you know in, if, as you can see here uh, institutions are buying clovis oncology evidenced by uh, on the balance volume here trying to make a nice comeback here i would buy clovis Oncolo oncology here expect a nice uh, bounce back given the short ratio is high um, and then we got here uh, romeo again an ev play Romeo is into energy storage um, and they also manufacture lithium ion battery modules. So as you see here, stock has been uh, doing nothing for a long time here. They had their earnings also. But on the balance volume is picking up here and Romeo uh, institutions are buying Romeo at these levels. So that's why I think we should buy Romeo along with the institutions and go from there. Again, high short ratio and low RSI 36. Um, next we got App Harvest. App Harvest got uh, really stock came down after the earnings. Uh, this is into um, greenhouses, uh, focusing on how to grow fruits and vegetables and tomatoes. So as you can see here, stock has been doing nothing for a long time. Now we're showing some, some sign of turning around and institutions are buying um, uh, app harvest here i would buy along with them here a high short ratio low rsi uh, that's a good recipe for uh, stock to go up and then you got geo here geo is a R R E I T real estate investment trust uh, they have a lot of these hospital bed type situation uh, they provide enhanced uh, custody and rehabilitation and post release support for some of these patients. They got monitoring community based programs. As you see here, this stock is trying to bounce off of its 25 day moving average at this point. I think right now it's showing some progress. As you see here, um, insiders, are, insiders are buying Geo. That tells you the insiders have got conviction. Stock is still off from 52 week high. RSI is 49. That tells you. Uh, still oversold at these levels. So last we got a couple more here. We got Lucid Motors. This is supposed to be a Tesla killer. Uh, stock has done nothing in the last couple of months here. But on the balance volume is pretty steady. That tells you folks are buying into this company here. Uh, Lucid, I think they do, it's a technology company. It designs, engineers and builds electric vehicles and battery systems. Um, as you see here, uh, there is nothing great from an insider institution perspective. Probably there's a lockup expiration um, or institutions are selling the stock as you can see here. Um, short ratio is high, RSI is low. Stock has been doing nothing. So that's why some of these names is good to accumulate as the stock is going down. Slowly accumulate. Um, as you can see here, there's a good on the balance volume that tells you there are people accumulating the stock here. And then you got Wuzi here. They are into designing, developing, marketing, uh, augmented reality or a AR. This is the emerging trend as we all know. As you see here, stock is, um, you know, trying to make a comeback here. Um, you know, it's not a totally bearish type play here. It's uh, showing some bullishness here with the 200 day moving average below down here. And um, we got 100 day moving average on the top. 50 and 25 i think this is uh trying to turn around here and on the balance volume is pretty steady and uh, as you can see uh, institutions are buying woozy so that's why i would buy along with the institutions uh, it's got a low rsi stock is trying to turn around in the near near term and then we got 
skills here. Skills, as you know, it's a mobile gaming platform here, connects the players worldwide. And they also have a casual eSport and tournaments. I think it's a good play here. Stock has done nothing for a long time, has been going down. But now it's showing some progress here. Uh, skills, as you can see here, institutions are buying into skills. That's why on the balance volume is trying to go up slowly. So I would buy skills along with these institutions here. As you see here, it's trying to bounce back in one day and one week. And then you got Archon. It's into hardware, software, on-site services uh, for petroleum mining in China. Stock has gone down, you know, drastically here. Um, and now it's trying to stabilize. I would slowly acquire a nice position here. It's a low market cap stock, can be easily manipulated. So that's why it's good to buy here and accumulate a nice position. And as you see here, high short ratio. So with that, uh, this is how I typically spot, you know, look for insider buying, insider um, and institutions buying with a positive um, insider institution transactions. Look for nice um, sales growth if when possible, nice gross margin when possible, and look for stock um, in improving in the near term or sometimes even decreasing from a near term perspective. But also look for a high or a nice uh, on the balance volume that tells you there is some leg uh, to this company you can accumulate. So with that, uh, uh, thank you very much. You might, you might be asking, how should I trade heavily shorted stocks? Typically what I do is I look for stocks that are oversold, typically RSI less than 50. So this helps us to see, make sure we don't buy some of these stocks when they already went up so much. And look for stocks that are recovering in the shorter term time frame, like one week or two week. Uh, you know, look for stocks consolidating for a while and showing some signs of bullishness that tells you stock is ready for a turnaround here. And when the stock had a huge drop and then showing some signs of bullishness, that's when you can slowly start buying. And sometimes when there is a huge drop, it's okay to be a contrarian and start accumulating slowly because sometimes um, that's the best time to accumulate when all the charts are bad. News is bad, you can slowly accumulate. Don't buy, don't put all your money in one stock, buy slowly and accumulate. Look for stocks with the high short ratio. All the stocks I provided have got high short ratio. And look for insiders and institutions buying the stock. That tells you, um, you know, this is a good time to buy. You know, sometimes, even when there is no insider institution buying, sometimes I still accumulate uh, looking at chart, looking at on the balance volume, just to get ahead of the curve. And look for fundamentally good uh, companies with the positive sales growth and gross margin. And also, you know, look for rule of 40 when possible. It's not always possible. Look for quarterly sales growth or a revenue growth plus gross margin greater than 40 percent percent that tells you companies are fundamentally good still growing so that's why it's a good to look at a rule of 40 when possible and if there is a secular growth biotech stock or a technology stock when they're down on a bad news maybe it's a fda approval issue or a clinical trial issue that's when you can buy slowly because uh, a lot of bad news has been factored into the stock. Stock has come down. That's a good time to buy a secular growth stock. So with that, thank you very much. Happy investing and trading. Please subscribe.